You know, I quit smoking recently, you know. Mm -hmm. Teddy Rubskin here, and I had a request to talk more about the goddamn Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Well, we were talking about the Ralph Bashki version. Yeah, I pronounced his name right. Bashki. Yeah. And, uh, it kind of sucked, you know. The animation looked weird, and, uh, it just kind of sucked. You know? but, but, but Ralph Bashki, he's kind of a mixed bag. Anytime he fucking does fucking anything, you know. Fritz the Kid is fucking weird. I kind of recommend it, but, you know, with a very strong warning that, uh, this is, it's, it's going to be fucking weird, all right? <laughs> you know, the other films of his I recommend? Fucking... Fire and Ice. Fire and Ice is really fucking cool, actually. It uses the fucking traced style animation that they used in the fucking Lord of the Rings, but the much better effect, you know, because they fucking fully fucking did it, you know? They didn't leave any guys in fucking gorilla masks in there. Everything's traced, and it looks really fucking cool. It's got a fluidity that's really fucking, uh, um, fluid. <laughs> Yeah, and this fucking chick here, she is so fucking hot, and she's running around basically naked to the fucking whole film. You know, running around, crawling through stuff, and, you know, crotch shots abound all over the place. And, you know, it kind of reminds me of fucking He-Man, you know, with this guy in his fucking loincloth. There's also a fucking, you know, wizard guy, kind of like, uh, you know, kind of like fucking Skeletor a little bit, you know, a little bit. Evelyn persuade her <laughs> with pleasure, Skeletor. <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm fucking saying. There's a similarity. But yeah, fucking fire and ice is fucking cool, man. And you know what? I just heard that fucking Robert Rodriguez was gonna make a live action fire and ice as like his next fucking film. That sounds fucking awesome, man. Robert Rodriguez doing that? It's gonna be fucking cool. Yeah. You know, you know, because he was gonna do like Red Sonia with his girlfriend at the time, Rose McGowan. He started dating her while making Grindhouse. And then he was gonna make Red Sonia with her. Um, but they, 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 they kind of broke up when they fucking broke up, you know. So that's not gonna happen. But he is gonna do Fire and Ice. So expect to see, you know, some hot chicks in metal bikinis and, well, you know, maybe hopefully whatever he was gonna do with fu fucking Red Sonia, he'll fucking do with Fire and Ice, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It'll be good. Well, yeah, we're talking about The Lord of the Rings, right? Uh, uh or really, you know, in, in, in the 80s, there were a couple films that were, you know, clearly inspired by The Lord of the Rings, all right? First, there's a fucking Dark Crystal, which is a fucking awesome movie. I fucking love the Dark Crystal. This is such an elaborate fucking fantasy world. It's amazing. Uh, but, but it's clearly inspired by the Lord of the Rings. I mean, it's about a little guy, right, who's put on a fucking quest of some kind. Little guy, he's not a fucking hobbit or a halfling. He's a gelfling, right? Yeah, and he's put on the quest by uh, not a wizard, but a lizard. Yeah, a wizardly lizard. Yeah, and he doesn't give him a ring, he gives him a fucking crystal, right? That he's gotta take and go use it some fucking way, right? <laughs> and you know the fucking Chamberlain guy? He's kinda like the fucking, uh, Gollum, kind of. So, sort of, you know. Please, show them you want peace. And then, then later in the 80s, there was Willow, right? You ever fucking seen that? A lot like the fucking Lord of the Rings. It's about a little guy who kind of comes from like a shire kind of village, kind of a hobbit town, right? And instead of a fucking ring or a crystal, it's a fucking baby, right? And he's got to take this baby and do some fucking something with it, right? Yeah, and, and fucking uh, this guy is a lot like fucking this guy, you know, fucking guy with a sword, you know, similar. 
And well, in, the, in the Lord of the Rings, there was like a wizard battle between two wizards, right? Willow. There's a battle between two sorceresses. Zzz. Sorceresses. Say the plural of sorceress. It doesn't fucking sound right. Sorceresses. Sorcerai. But yeah, no, no official version of the Lord of the Rings until Peter Jackson did it. Yeah, and what is basically the uber ultimate fucking version of the story, right? Three fucking epic ass movies. All three fucking films were nominated for fucking Best Picture. Though, fucking Fellowship of the Ring was nominated. Fucking The Two Towers was nominated. And then The Return of the King finally won Best Picture. Because it is. It's a fucking great fucking movie. But of the fucking three films, my personal favorite is probably The Fellowship of the Ring. The fucking first one. Yeah. It's fucking bad. It is. I, I like fucking Gandalf the Grey more than fucking Gandalf the White. You know, that's just how I fucking feel. He's cooler. You know. Plus, plus he smokes weed, man. He does. He's fucking... He, he does. I must weed in the South Valley. And you know what's fucking really weird? Peter Jackson started off fucking making weird movies like Meet the Feebles, which is like an X-rated Muppet show, you know? There's a lizard doing fucking heroin, fucking a rabbit with v venereal diseases, and, and all kinds of fucking shit, you know? Um, oh my god. This movie's so, it's just so fucking, it's fucked up. You know? And then he goes on to make fucking Lord of the Rings? That's weird. So it's like you can't fucking make a Lord of the Rings movie until you made a movie where there's a lizard shooting heroin. Can't do it. It's weird. But, but while fucking Peter Jackson is now a respectable director, Ralph Bashy never fucking lost his dirty sense of humor and continued to make fucking weird X-rated cartoons. On into the fucking 90s when he made fucking Cool World. Oh man, that fucking movie sucked. Uh, cool World is bad, right? I don't fucking re recommend it to fucking anybody. It, it's real bad. You know, it, it kind of looks interesting, but trust me, it sucks. Okay. I, I mean, I mean, uh, Brad Pitt's in it, but uh, he's fucking. There's nothing for him to fucking do except stand around and interact with shit that's not fucking really there. I mean, it's it's fucked up, fucking weird. It, it's it's weird. It, it's stupid. <laughs> I, I mean, there's so many fucking scenes, it's just, you know, stuff's flying around, and no idea what the hell's going on, and then it doesn't really fucking matter anyway, you know? Uh, I mean, God. It's fucking weird, it's all about this cartoon girl who wants to fuck a real man so that she'll become a real girl. You know, it's like a Pinocchio kind of thing, if Pinocchio had to fuck somebody to turn into a real boy. Weird. Fucking weird. Uh, yeah, yeah. Don't don't fucking waste your time on fucking Cool World. It's just fucking stupid. Yeah. Seriously. But um, where the fuck was I? Yeah, we're done talking about the Lord of the Rings. Okay. All right. Are we fucking done? We're fucking done. All right. Until fucking next time.